Three members of the anti-corruption unit at the Metropolitan Police are being investigated over claims they covered up or failed to properly pursue allegations of wrongdoing by other officers. Well, our Home Affairs correspondent Tom Simons is at Scotland Yard for us. Tom, what's the background to these investigations? Well, Clive, this is about the Directorate of Professional Standards, the bit of the Met which investigates when its own police officers either break the law or break the force's rules. Now, the police watchdog, the IOPC, says that individual officers within that directorate may be guilty of serious corruption or malpractice. This is about the allegation that those officers may have interfered with or prevented investigations into Met officers. And so far, three uh, middle-ranking officers within the directorate have been told that they face investigation and the IOPC is looking at the cases of another dozen or so. It is a highly controversial uh, uh, announcement, a highly controversial thing for the IOPC to say. The Met has had a long history of dealing with corruption within the force. In the 70s, 80s and 90s it was about corrupt links between criminals and the police. Now it seems to be about potentially corrupt links between police and other police officers. Clive. OK, Tom, Tom, thank you for that. Tom Simon's there at New Scotland Yard. Scotland Yard's own task force for investigating internal corruption in the Metropolitan Police is currently being investigated for possible corruption. The Independent Office for Police Conduct has confirmed that it's looking into alleged interference in and curtailment of investigations by potentially conflicted senior officers. One officer is under criminal investigation.